Now, welcome back everyone. Typhoon here again. Now, in this lecture, we will explore how you can personalize and expand Ghidra's interface to suit your workflow, as well as uncover some of the more powerful, but sometimes hidden features of the Ghidra offers. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to unlock parts of the tool that many users overlook or don't know, setting you apart as a more efficient and capable reverse engineer. Now, Ghidra's layout is well organized, as you've seen in previous lecture, but it doesn't have to stay that way. You can fully customize the interface to match your preferences. Now, let's start with the basics here. Now, if you go to Window and choose your desired pane, now this menu basically allows you to toggle visibility for different windows, such as, for example, function call graph or the compilation graph or console. Now, your workspace is your design basically. So if you click on console and it will sometimes like shake it a little bit and tell that the console is already here. But if you close this, now you can say console is gone now. Click on Windows, console, and here we have the console here. That's as easy as it gets. Now, this menu also allows like uh, we can see the PC code viewer like the register view and so on and so forth so let's actually open the register manager yeah now Gidra also lets you tweak the disassembly listing itself now uh, look to the upper right of the disassembly window you will find this small icon that opens the disassembly layout editor and if you look at this um, you will you can see here that you can add or remove fields like this address if you want to add this address here or opcode settings you can move it like that or uh, like uh, we can also choose the operands to make it more on the left side of the bytes yeah but this is best the default is best always uh, is best but it's good to know and this uh, feature is uh, particularly useful for users who want a streamlined view when analyzing deeply nested or repetitive assembly logic and as you can see here that's it and we also have the pc code here so uh, one of the Ghidra's most uh, powerful internal tools is its use of intermediate representation known as P-code. Some call it PC-code, but it's not a PC-code, it's a P-code. Now this allows Ghidra to abstract away architecture-specific syntax and analyze binaries in a normalized format. Now to enable P-code or PC-code in the disassembly view, open the layout configuration again. Let's actually close it. Open the layout configuration again. And here, oops, yeah, here, functions, plate, adds to the brick. Now we can instruction and data. And here in the P code, we will let's make it the left side of this file and here we are now p code isn't the most uh, humor readable format i can say that uh, but it is ideal for scripting and tool development, especially when creating platform independent uh, logic. And we also have the graph view, uh, which is basically like uh, supports control flow visualization through its graph view. So this feature helps you see how code branches like loops and inter interacts at the function level now to enable it navigate to the function here 
and click the graph icon here now you can see it's a location is not defined right now but let's make it pc code bottom here close it make it smaller Go to data part and graph. Yeah, it's on the find now. So here we have found the string. It is also on the find. And here we have the graph, basically. Now this here opens visual node graph where you can follow paths and call relationships. Now it's particularly helpful for malware analysis, obfuscated code, or just understanding complex logic here. Now you can see it's a callback and this will be useful in our next lectures as well so we will use it a lot and we have a world of features uh, which you haven't touched yet so what we have shown here is uh, only portion of what Ghidra can do basically in fact we have barely scratched the surface of Ghidra here so it has plugin support version tracking collaborative projects it also has API for scripting in Java and Python so data advanced tools will be introduced aggressively as we explore particular uh, use cases. Like uh, we can't do much with the hello world uh, application. It has no sense, right? It just gets the variable stores in this printf and just prints it. There's not much we can do about this, but uh, this code will help us to understand the how Gidra works better. But in next lectures, we will use it with real world examples on the malware analysis or general reverse engineering codes now in this lecture you haven't learned uh, much uh, compared to the first two lectures of our course uh, but um, you see that you saw that the uh, gidras is customizable custom <laughs> customizable uh, which will be useful in particular cases you also learned how to modify the disassembly listing and enable the P code. And uh, we used this graph here. You can see. And here you can see we have a lot of graph. So if you make it, now you can see it's a D word, basically print gets the hello world prints on the here. It's a signal call. Yeah. Now these features are the building blocks of your personalized uh, Ghidra workflow. Mastering them will allow you to reverse engineer with more speed, precision, and insights. Now, thank you for watching. In the next lecture, we will dive into the Ghidra scripting, how to automate tedious tasks, build your own tools, and level up your reverse engineering game with Python or JavaScript, <laughs> not JavaScript again, Java-based scripts. <laughs>